Welcome, this is the TCAP practice test for grade 7. This is the math section, obviously. Question number 13. The table below gives you values of x and y. They were so convenient to put them in nice little columns for you. Here's the x column, and here's the y column. I'm actually going to change colors. I've been using this one for a while. I'm getting tired of it. So here's the y column. Well, that would help if I'd actually changed it. There it is. All right. Uh, which equation best describes the relationships between the values of x and y? Now, this question looks really overwhelming. Like, what are you going to do? Uh, plot points or, you know, all I want you to do when you see this type of problem is look for the fact that there's an equal sign in each statement. Math is all about finding truth, really. The reason math was invented in the first place is so people could have a common language and share information that they figured out. Like, someone was looking up at the stars and like, whoa, dude, check this out. But you can't just talk to somebody in another language if you don't know it. So they created a common language that you could use all over the world. There wasn't like the internet back then. So you kind of had to create symbols. Well, the equal sign means that one side is equal to the other. So if I can l find a situation where if I plug in stuff from the x and I get the matching y, I'm in good shape. So really, when I plug in 3, I should get 3 as my answer for y. When I plug in 6 for x, I should get 4. When I plug in uh, 9, I should get 5 because they're supposed to match. So I'm going to write it out like this. So for a, I'm going to do 1 third, put a parentheses there plus 2. What I'm going to plug in my parentheses is whatever the values of x are. And if I can get them to get the matching y's that I want after I solve them, I'm in good shape. So I don't have to really have to worry about the y's until I plug something in. So in the first one, 1 third, so I'm going to put a 3 here. So if I go into the old calculator and I type in 1 third and I put parentheses 3 plus 2, it gives me a 3. So when I plugged in a 3, my answer was 3. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. But don't get too excited yet. We've got to make sure they work for all of them. 1 third, and I'm going to plug in a 6. So I do 1 third, and I plug in 6 there, plus 2, and I get 4. Things are looking good. I'm going to try another one. 1 third, I'm going to plug in a 9 here. And by the way, I'm just plugging this into my calculator, and then I'm looking for the answer. And if it gives me the answer I'm looking for, I'm in good shape plus 2, and it gives me a 5. Now, things are looking great for me. If I plug in 15 and it gives me 7, I am done. So you should see this matches up. These 3, 6, 9, 15 matches this first column here. Plus 2. That's important. If you forget parts, this doesn't work at all. It also helps if you press the right buttons. I messed up on my calculator there. That's why I'm slow. This matches perfectly with the Y column. So my answer is A, because when I plugged in my X values, it equaled the Y values it was supposed to. Now, if one of them didn't work, I would have to start over. So I would go to 1 half X plus 1 and plug in uh, a 3 for X and see if I get 3. I'd plug in um, a 6 for X and see if I got a 4, that kind of thing. You just go through all of the sets and find the one that matches up exactly uh, as you can do it, and it makes it very simple. So there's a quick way to get that answer correct. You don't have to write it out as much as I did, but I'm showing you on video, so it made little sense for me to just dump it into the calculator. Just be careful that you plug in the right things and that when you look at your calculator screen, it says exactly what it's supposed to say, and you should be uh, really well served.